up YouTube, we're here today going to show you guys how to install Windows Server 2008 R2 in VirtualBox. Windows Server 2008 R2 is actually now based on Windows 7. It's actually an updated version of Windows Server 2008. So, without further ado, let's get this started. So, the first thing you need is VirtualBox, and the second thing you need is the ISO directly from the Internet Archive. So one of the coolest things about the Internet Archive is that you can find a whole bunch of software that is impossible to grab if you just try to Google search that. I've been trying to find some bails, some beta builds, I can't even talk right now. Some beta builds, uh, like they're not on WinWorld PC or I can't even grab Windows 7, Windows 8, or even Windows 10 beta builds that is impossible to grab. Uh, and I even got some of those versions of Windows uh, from there, and I had luck with it. So, wh whoever uh, uploads these ISOs, uh, I'm going to give you guys a shout out to anyone who up provides the ISOs through the Internet Archive. And I will enjoy it. So, enough of that, let's go ahead and do the VirtualBox tutorial. So, we're going to click on New, and we're going to type in. Windows Server 2008 R2 and for the ISO image uh, we can go ahead and select the ISO image right here it's going to be the drop down or it's going to be right here and then we're going to go ahead and skip the unattended installation I would not recommend uh, doing the unattended installation because you do need a password so we're just going to click on next for the RAM we're going to set it to 4 gigabytes and for processors I'm going to set it to 4 cores you can leave them by the default, but I would do that. Just click on next, then. Hard drive size, 32 gigabytes should be plenty, so if you want to actually store files on there, you might want to increase it, but 32 gigabytes should be enough, and then hit next, and then hit finish. And then if you have not inserted the ISO or forgot to do so, you can go to storage and then go to that disk, and you can either choose a disk file or show you in the drop down. Then once done, you can just click on OK, and then then you can click on Start. And then it's gonna go ahead and boot into the CD. And the first thing you notice compared to the original release is that it uses the Windows 7 boot screen instead of Windows Vista. The Windows Vista boot screen was found in the original release, so there you go. When you get to this screen, just click on Next and then hit Install Now. And the major change you see in this one compared to the original release that's based on Vista now adds R2. And the copyright date is now 2009 instead of 2007. So, like I said, I'm going to click on Install Now, then it's going to start the setup. And then for the edition selection, you can choose standard, enterprise, data center, and yes, you even have Windows Web Server 2008 R2, which is something that I have not done. So, that's cool. Uh, so I'll do a video tutorial on that one. Uh, it's going to be provided with the link in the description. And then, full installation is the one we're going to be using includes the desktop, the start menu, all that good stuff, and the server core is just command prompt. I'm just going to use standard and then hit next, and then checkbox, I accept the license terms, and then hit next, custom, and then click on next on that unallocated space, and now it's going to go ahead and expand Windows files. It's going to take the longest, but it should eventually uh, start going. And then uh, you do need a password uh, that uh, we use for Windows Server 2008 the r original release so that uh, I'm gonna it's best if I actually show you that go to Windows XP Windows Fundamentals password should be the same password uh, like you have to use in Windows Server 2000 pretty much anything after Windows Server 2008 Windows uh, Embedded or Windows Fundamentals uh, only for virtual machines 
if you want to put a password on it for the actual hardware, I would not recommend using that. So there we go. Now as you can see, it's going to start expanding files. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. So I'll be back. Now it's ready to restart. So we're going to go ahead and click on restart now, and then we're going to reboot the virtual machine. Then do not hit any key to boot from the CD or DVD, otherwise you'll go to a constant loop. And then this time you'll see the Windows Vista boot screen. Uh, that's the only uh, downside in this one. Uh, but when you get when you finish the installation, it should eventually bring up that Windows 7 boot screen. And that's going to give you the second phase of setup right here, where it's going to say completing installation. And then after that, it's going to go ahead and restart the virtual machine on its own. So going to complete the installation and after that it's going to go ahead and restart the computer as said here which is already done. Do not hit any key to boot from the CD or DVD otherwise you'll go to a constant loop. And then it's going to go ahead and boot into the final phase of setup. It's going to prepare the computer for first use and then it's going to check the, check the display. And then after that you should see something like this that says the user's password must be changed before logging on for the first time. Just click on OK and then type in the password that I just mentioned earlier. And I'm also going to confirm the password. And then hit OK, just click on OK or just hit enter and now it's going to go ahead and log you in. And then you can go ahead and eject the ISO now, since we're done with it. And then you can check the box, do not show this window at log on, and then hit close. And then uh, you can also check the box and then also close. And there you go, you have successfully installed Windows Server 2008 R2 in VirtualBox. If you hit start and type in Winver, you should see that we have successfully installed Windows Server 2008 R2 in VirtualBox and then if you want to get sound to work you can right click and then hit sounds and then hit yes and then you can go ahead and play around with these sounds right here like the critical battery alarm the log on, the log off, all that good stuff so there you go so that's how to install Windows Server 2008 R2 in VirtualBox so thank you guys for watching Please be sure to hit the subscribe button. Also follow me on Twitter at RubenAlfredito17. Also follow me on Instagram at RubenTheTransferFan. So that's how I install Windows Server 2008 R2 in VirtualBox. So I'll see you next time.